Good morning, everyone. I hope this finds you well and living your best life in Jesus Christ. I am constantly intrigued by how so many people, myself included, allow negativity to invade our lives. I mean, it's bad enough when we face criticism from others, which we always do. That can undermine our self of sense of worth and self-esteem. But it's so much more devastating when we allow our own minds to attack us with thoughts and feelings of negativity and create in us a sense of failure and worthlessness. I can say that, at least in my own case, I am, have been, and always will be my worst critic. In Hamlet, Shakespeare writes these words which are spoken by an old man named Polonius. He says, This above all, to thine own self, be true. For many years, I used this quote as an excuse to tell myself so-called truths that did nothing but undermine me. Things like, well, you aren't smart enough, you aren't good enough, you're a failure, you're just too fat, you're whatever. Just admit it, Kevin, to thine own self be true. It literally took me years to fight back these voices that, if I'm not careful, still come to me when I'm tired or discouraged. I'm sure I'm not the only one who suffers from this infliction, this paralyzing fear created not by circumstance, but by the lies we tell ourselves thinking we are being, quote, truthful to ourselves. I think sometimes we forget the power and impact of the words we speak, not just to others, but to ourselves. Several verses in the Bible remind us that the words that we say bring life and encouragement or hurt and destruction. For example, in Psalm 15, 4, that tells us that, quote, the soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. We tend to think that this refers to what we say to others, but it also impacts our self-talk. What we say to ourselves outweighs all the things we hear from other sources, no matter how complimentary other people are being. Nonetheless, your own voices in your head can undermine any sense of self-worth. We need to be aware and intentional about what we say to ourselves. Are we negative, condescending, defeated? Do we repeat the harmful lies spoken to us by family, enemies, and by Satan? It's vital that we stop saying critical negative things to ourselves, but instead search the scripture for the words of truth spoken by God about us. John 8.32 reminds us that, quote, Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. That was one of my mother's favorite verses. God's truth dispels the lies. This is what brings life to us. This is what will prepare us forward to our destiny of powerful, effective lives in Christ. So today, let us strive to be our best and live in confident, productive ways when we remind ourselves that we are loved, we are capable, and we are valued. Let's be true to ourselves today and see ourselves the way God sees us. Today, let us, to our own selves, tell truth. I hope you make today a fantastic day. Remember, I'm here if you need me, and I love you all.